Pass, huh? Hi. So what's the matter? Nothing. Nothing, huh? You look like you lost your best friend. I just feel bad. You're not sick, are you? No. It's because of Christopher. I did kind of get a head start on him. Well, that's no reason to feel bad. You won, didn't you? Yeah, but... No buts. Winning is what counts. He said I cheated. Oh, you did no such thing. You just got a little head start, that's all. You had the competitive edge. That never hurt anybody except the losers, of course. I don't know. Well, I do. You didn't cheat. You were just a little anxious to win. You want to know something? What? Your winning made your daddy real proud of you. <laughs> now, listen. You got a choice of two sides in this life. Winning and losing. And don't you ever let me catch you on the losing side here. You want to see me, Dad? Come in. Shut the door. Your principal called me this afternoon. Apparently, you've been skipping classes all week. Hope you got a good reason for that. School's boring. They're not teaching me anything I don't already know. So you think you're ready to run an oil company? School can't teach me how to run an oil company. Well, where do you think I learned? And James? Or do you think you're smarter than just about anybody else? I just hate school, all right? Why don't you get off my case? Listen, son, don't you talk to me like that. I don't give a damn whether you like school or not. You are going to go to school. Why? So I can be just like you and James? Who cares? I don't want your stupid company either. Well, you listen to me, son, and listen good. I've had it with your attitude. Your cousin Lucy gave my daddy the same lip that you're giving me, saying that she could skip school anytime she wanted to. And he taught her a lesson. I'm going to teach you the same one. From now on, one of the ranch hands is going to pick you up first thing in the morning and drive you straight to school and walk you down the hall to your classroom if that's what he has to do. You understand? Yes, sir. All right. I don't want to have this conversation again here. I'll be back in a couple of days. When I do get back, I want to see a big improvement in your attitude. left over from dinner if you're hungry. You okay? I hate him. He's the worst father in the world. I guess he came down on you pretty hard, huh? I'm out of here, Christopher. I'm gonna ask my mom if I can come over with her. No way! I'm serious. I never want to see my dad again. And I want you to come with me to England. Yeah, right. I mean it. Our dads don't even know we're alive anymore. At least we won't get all this junk from my mom. But I get along fine with my dad. Yeah, when you see him. Come on, we'll have a great time. So what do you say? Are you with me or not? There you go, son. You want in on you and energies? You start teaching me about the oil business and you start teaching me every dirty trick that you know. And when I take this company from Christopher and Elena, I'll cut you in. 
and only then. If you screw me, I will make sure that you don't see a dime of that oil sitting underneath South Fork. And I will put you back in that home for good. Got it. Now that's my son. From tip to tail. Well, you may throw you a rock, hide your hand. Working in the dark against your fellow man. But as sure as God made black and white, what's done in the dark will be brought to the light. You can run on for a long time. Run on.